term skin cycling. Well, it's cycling all over TikTok, and we need to know what it is and how it works. So here to explain it to us is dermatologist Dr. Gita Yadav. So good to have you here, Dr. Yadav. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this. So many trends are popping on social media. We don't know which ones work. We don't know which ones don't work. Uh, is this one worth getting behind? I think it's a great question, and what I like to tell my patients is that Skin cycling is something that we've been advising patients on for a long time, which means sort of a slower introduction of products into your routine. But this is just a bit more of a structured way to look at it, and sometimes that's a bit more helpful, you know, okay. in terms of building your routine. We see a lot of that on social media as well. Yes. Like stuff that already exists, and then it's being, like, rebranded. Yes. So, yeah. okay, if it's good, let's talk about it. What okay. is skin cycling? So really what it is, it's a routine. We're going to talk today about a four-day cycle mm -hmm. where you introduce different actives on different days of that cycle. Okay. Some days are rest and recovery as well, so we'll kind of walk you through what that kind of looks like. Okay, let's do that. It's and day one. All right, so we've got a gentle cleanser. Yes. And then day one is all about exfoliation. So we've got okay. here a product that I quite like. It's got alpha and beta hydroxy acids in it. It's yeah. really the principle behind Ooh. it, being there able you know. to uh, use... Uh, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, these ingredients are really powerful at helping the skin turn over. So you take this out, you've done your cleansing, yep. you put this on your face, you put it all around. Yep, you got it. And then what? Let it dry. Yeah. And in this system, there's a second wipe. Okay. So then you apply that one. They, and I once... just want to know if they smell good. They smell good. <laughs> they do, they do. Okay. And once that tingling feeling stops, and it's normal to have that, yeah. then you moisturize. Okay, good stuff. And day one, we're done. Day one, we're done. What are we doing on day two? Okay, so day two, we want to introduce a retinol. So okay. you can have a retinol that's over the counter, yeah. and they come in different concentrations. Some companies make them so that you can build up even in that product range. Got it. And, or you can have a prescription retinoid. And yeah. so, again, you're doing the same thing. You're cleansing. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to put on your retinol. Yeah. And then you're going to moisturize. And then you're going to moisturize. What's the retinol going to do for you? I like thinking of retinol as like floss for your face. It sort oh, of like opens like up your that. pores. It turns over the skin. It is one of the most evidence-based products we have out there, ingredients in terms of building collagen, helping with fine lines and wrinkles. Mm. It can help a little bit with pigmentation. So it's a real kind of workhorse when it comes to skincare. Okay. And if you're a person with really sensitive skin, one of these pro tips that I could give you advice on is yeah. you could even put your moisturizer on a little bit before on sensitive areas, so the corners of the eyes, in the corners of the nose, Mm -hmm. and then you can uh, put your retinol afterwards and then you can moisturize again. So Smart. that's like the sandwich routine. Moisturizer, retinol, moisturizer. Okay, and that moisturizer is going to protect anything that you might be it. a bit sensitive. A bit of a buffer a bit for of a those buffer. areas as you get used to this Good. routine. Okay, now we're moving into day three. What are we doing today to our face? So day three is actually uh, very straightforward. You're talking mm -hmm. about using like a gentle cleanser, that moisturizer. It's rest and recovery. Yeah. So this is where you get to repair your skin. If you still find your skin to be kind of dry and tight after using all this exfoliation during day one and day two, you can even add on like a hydrating serum, something with hyaluronic acid or a yeah. face oil. And then you're back to day one again. Yeah. Okay, so how do we know if it's working or not? So when uh, a skincare line is working for you, mm -hmm. you should feel some peeling and some irritation, but not so much that you can't tolerate it. So okay. purging, as people call it, yeah. you know, another trend on Instagram and TikTok, yeah. it is that process of getting used to this exfoliating kind of system yeah. and this, this retinol into your routine. So you can get peeling and dryness, but if it lasts for more than a couple of weeks, you probably have to reassess what products you're using and consider alternatives. Okay, good to know. So you're going to be not cute for a little bit, like, because <laughs> this stuff has to come out. And that's okay. It's all part of the process. Yeah. Um, how long would it take? I don't know to get cute again. Like, how do you like? How long does do, does it take for these active ingredients to actually make the changes in your skin? I, I would say to get the full benefit, you're looking at up to three months. But you Good can start know. seeing benefits sooner than that. So yeah. it's important people don't give up too quickly, yes. and they can kind of ride through that purging a little bit. On the other hand. We're in this cycle only talking about it twice a week or right. twice in four days, sorry. So you're kind of saying, okay, if you're going to add in more active days, it's going to be even more irritating. It's going to work better, but you have to have that tolerance and find that balance. So this would just be the beginner routine on skin cycling, but you can definitely add to it. Is it safe for all skin types? 
I would say this routine in particular is good when we're talking about sensitive skin yeah. or normal skin. But mm -hmm. if you have an underlying skin condition like eczema or psoriasis, this may not be the right one for you. This might be a bit too irritating. Really good information. And I like that you like temper expectations. If it takes three months to really know, totally. it takes three months. So don't put it on one night and wake up and be like, my face isn't different. <laughs> like, no, it takes some time to get them no, into right. your skin, right? Thank you so much for that, Doc. That totally was excellent. Speaking of healthier skin, how about a farm to skin product with no chemicals or added additives? Check out Hereward Farms Lavish Lavender Infused Face Serum. It's pure lavender infused with sunflower oil to create a soothing combination that'll hydrate the skin. It is high in antioxidants, and everyone in our audience is gonna go home with one. Yes. Lavender products as well. Good luck to you. We're going to break. More coming up, everyone. Stay with us.